Okay, so we're on episode three now, and I've recorded all these in the same day. They're not getting published in the same day, but I, I put the other two up to, you know, first one published out there, second one scheduled, and I, I did notice the electric popping, right? And so this one is going to be a very interesting one because it's like an immediate response to that electric popping and I hate it I don't know why it's happening I don't know what's causing it I don't know if this one's going to have that same electric popping I have no way of knowing while I'm recording and I don't I don't have the technological expertise to understand why it's happening in the first place I'll probably at some point have my boyfriend look at it because he's an IT guy but I don't know what's happening and so I, I'm just like at a loss for words. And how do I apologize for it? Do I, do I mention that it's happening, that I know that it's happening? Oh my God, it's just putting me in this huge anxiety spiral. And now my cat is being a dick because he is all the time like that. He's an old man. He's like 20 years old now. So yeah, I guess he kind of has a right to be a little crabby all the time. Like seriously all the time but so I'm I'm dealing with all of this anxiety I am actually on anxiety medication already and still have a significant amount of anxiety about this stuff so I just wanted to kind of talk through it with you guys so that anybody who has anxiety understands like how I am currently trying to push through it using the medication as a dampener on it and anybody who doesn't have anxiety or doesn't understand what that process is like gets a tiny little tidbit into my to my brain space about it and it also uh, like I said in you know episode one it, it helps me talk it out so here we go the anxiety that I, I got just from trying to do the publishing thing and and to be honest putting a podcast a brand new podcast out there is not it's easy but it's not exactly any like it's not simple well maybe it's simple and it's not easy I don't one of those it's not something there's there's a lot of steps in it there's a little bit of headache in it and it's it's all you know easy things to do but there's you know it's a hassle it's monotonous um the place where I do my podcast rss.com makes it really easy is it rss.com yeah rss.com they make it really easy they have this whole like distribution tab where it shows you like you know here are the places that you, you can press this button and we'll just auto submit it and then there's these other places where we don't auto submit it but here's the you know ways that you you know the links and stuff that you need to submit it there all fine and, and good all all great but putting it out there, putting my thoughts out there, and knowing that when I'm, while I'm doing these steps, I'm, I'm inviting the unknown and possibly the unknowable until it comes is a big deal. And it was a big deal when we were doing The Hidden Egg, but um, The Hidden Egg podcast I'm doing with Eternal Immortal, which makes it a little bit easier because I'm doing it with someone. It's not me on my own. So when I'm doing all of this stuff for this particular podcast or my dumpster wreck show, it, you know, I'm, I, I, I had an understanding that I was going to be pushing through some anxiety that was just going to kind of be there. And I'm like, you know, that's fine. It's early in the day and the pills are, you know, a lot more effective early in the day. It gets harder because my I'm supposed to take them before I go to bed otherwise it like knocks me the fuck out and so I'm like I'm, I'm in the perfect time to to do this sort of endeavor and then that popping and then the popping and then it, I, it's not just popping like if you go back and you watch you listen to them you, you understand what I mean there's just this noise that's not supposed to be there and it it it's discordant it hurts my ears to listen to so I know that it can't be pleasant for you guys to listen to and I don't know what to do about it do I re 
do I like pull the whole podcast and like just try to write down what I said and try to say it in exactly the same way and re-record it that's insane right like that's not something I'm gonna do that's way too much work and this is never gonna get done if I have to do that for every episode that has this sort of electronic popping noise so then there's all these fears that pop up after that about how this means that I am doing a terrible job and even if people can forgive the electronic popping and it you know it just sticks to those first couple episodes and then it's fine I'm still like it 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 brought back into focus that I'm still doing something that is really scary to do I'm I'm bearing my soul basically with a much less of a filter than I usually would for something this public and so like there's all these fears of putting it out there that like mix and mingle and it's already out there I, I'm not I'm not backing out if you're listening to this like obviously I've already made the decision to continue pushing forward with it but I do <laughs> The first episode and this episode I did actually write notes because that has the and it has a calming effect on my anxiety because I can like when I feel like I'm drowning in my own thoughts and words and I'm like well, I don't even know what I'm supposed to say and I just start running on with a thought then uh, that I don't know where I was going with or where I where, I'm, where I came from sometimes I have something I can just kind of glance at to be like okay let's go to this spot this is how it relates and and we'll go from there but then even like while I'm writing the notes sometimes and sometimes before I get to the notes there's this afterthought sabotage that like I did the thing and I'm preparing to do the next step of the thing and whatever that step is I have like I have this afterthought of what I just did. Is it enough? Is it good enough? Do I need to do more? Do I need to do it different? Maybe I should just scrap it. Maybe I just shouldn't do it. It's, it's, you know, it's too much to see whether or not it's good enough because I don't have the tools to be able to judge that. Nobody can ever really know, right? It's, it's unknowable if it's ever good enough. It's, it is something ever really enough until you put it out there and then somebody gets to judge it as either enough or not enough it's it's a lot <laughs> that's a lot to deal with and so I've 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 you know I'm, I'm on medication to dampen those thoughts they're still there but it's 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 not like the medication was never for me anyway maybe other people are different but for me it was never to make those things go away it was so that those thoughts no longer had such a hold on me and and my actions so that I could start working through it because I remember a place where I wasn't anxious at least not like this maybe I had anxiety but it was manageable and I, I was able to do things I was able to confront my fears and I can't seem to do that now because I have all these screaming voices in my head that sound very large very angry very controlling that prevent me from doing things and I never get to see the actual consequences of doing the things to verify whether or not these fears even matter whether or not they're real or if and maybe my mind has blown things out of proportion and everything's gonna be okay and so that's that's what this episode was just riff in that mostly I don't have anything better for you just that that's why I'm that's kind of what what allows me to to do this if you ever wonder like why why does she put such personal stuff on a podcast like well because I don't know anymore what and I don't know if I ever d really did know what is okay and what isn't like what I mean, I know right from wrong, but I don't know that if I talk about this, 
then will people be upset with me? Are they going to actually think that I'm a terrible person? Or is that just something that I told myself from one interaction 20 years ago? You know, I don't know. And so here we are. Speaking of, I think I should probably go deal with the old man in the background. So I hope I see you in the next one. Peace.